Top story is at 8.30. SAPS mobilizes team to investigate East London tavern deaths and Banyaza Lisufi elected new ANC provincial chairperson for Gaudeng. With the news at 8.30, good morning, I am Precious Mabutle. The management of the South African Police Service deployed resources to investigate the death of 21 young people at a tavern in East London. Police received a report yesterday morning of several lifeless bodies at a local tavern. Nine of the deceased are women, while 12 of the deceased are men. Police spokesperson Colonel Athlenda Marty says, Police Minister Becky Kale also engaged with local residents and with parents of the deceased at a local mutuary. The process to identify the victims is underway. In other local news, the 14th African National Congress Gauteng Provincial Conference has elected Banyaza Lisufi as the new provincial chairperson in the early hours of Monday morning. During the conference held in Benoni, he defeated his rival Lebohanga Maile with 575 votes to 543. Nomantun Komo Ralehoko serves as the vice chairperson with TK Ngiza, the provincial secretary. His deputy is Tasnim Motara. Murakani Musupye is the newly elected provincial treasurer. This conference has seen three women taking to the top five leadership positions in Gauteng. And finally, on the local front, economic freedom fighter leader Julius Malema has called for free and decolonized education in the country. In 2015, Universities across the country saw mass demonstrations over access to education in public institutions. Malema lamented the lack of access to education at the party's rally on Sunday in Cliptown, commemorating the adoption of the Freedom Charter in 1955. Malema says the state of education in the country goes against what the Freedom Charter prescribed. Heading offshore, some international news with Deutsche Villa. Looking at the traffic this morning, we have an update. The accident reported earlier on the N1 South before Ridgel Avenue has been cleared. Heading on to Pretoria, the accident on Euphus Road East near the N14 Highway with slow moving traffic. In Bedford View, there's an accident on the N12 R24 West before the Gilulis Interchange with slow moving traffic on both routes. In Boxburg, there's a stationary vehicle on the N12 West after the Atlas Road exit with slow moving traffic. And in Centurion, due to load shedding, traffic lights are not working at multiple junctions in Vierda Park, Littleton Manor, Hennops Park and surrounding suburbs. And finally in Rivonia, there's an accident on Rivonia Road South near 12th Avenue with slow moving traffic. That was the traffic update. I'll be back with the weather.